You look at Isabel. Considering how much bread we bought from them for dinner yesterday. Let's go. Loving us is the yeast they could do. No. No! Not allowed! <laughs> yes. Teamwork. Oh my gosh. The set. The spike. It's so good. Welcome back to the cafe, everyone. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy an indie game. We're playing the demo for In Stars and Time. And I saw the trailer for this. I'm very excited because it looks like there is a time looping mechanic, and I am a sucker for that. Uh, and yeah, let's hop in. <gasps> Howl's Moving Castle vibes. Sifrin. Uh, oh? Oh my god, what is that behind us? <laughs> Hello? Hi, friends. Uh, I, I wasn't asleep. Uh-huh, sure. I think you're lying, friend. No, 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 Bon Bon. I believe Sif. It's not like they fell over with their eyes closed, snoring, or anything. <laughs> you stand up and laugh awkwardly. You were just resting your eyes for a second. Ugh. Could you fall asleep standing up after we beat the king who has frozen the entire country in time, please? Uh, I'm sorry, Sifrin. You're sleepy because I woke you up from your nap yesterday, isn't it? It's because I kept you from sleeping as much as you wanted yesterday, isn't it? Uh-oh. You made Mirabelle sad again. You made her sad yesterday, too. It's your second time doing it in two days. You absolute monster. Say something to make her feel better. Something like, at least we should be happy I was the one taking a nap and not Bonnie? <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Huh? Why? Well, what would have happened if I took a nap? Since you're a kid and all, if you took a nap, us adults could have been arrested for kid napping. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jess. Bad! <laughs> Mirabelle left. Okay, so we know now that Sif and Mirabelle have something, something a little bit more, at least from Sifron's side of things. Odile looks like she wants to strangle you, though. Now that Sifrin is clearly awake, we should get inside. Okay, so we are starting this game at the end, uh, we are about to do what seems to be what in any other game would be the final boss battle. We've got our ragtag rag -tag group of friends. Uh, this does not bode well. We still have a long way to go before we get to the king. Also, I do love a, the earrings. Great. Uh, but also the cloud homage with the turtleneck, sleeveless turtleneck and spiky hair. It's very good. How rude of him to not welcome us at the door. So rude. So rude. But still, the house feels strange, doesn't it? Do houses of change usu usually look like this, Mirabelle? No, uh, they're not usually like this. Houses of change are usually filled with people and light. But right now it's so empty and inert. And sadnesses have taken over and they'll be trying to defeat us no matter the cost. All because of the king. Hmm. So, not as awkward of in silence. This is definitely more contemplative. Maybe a little sad. Well, we should go, shouldn't we? The king's butt isn't gonna kick itself, you know. That's right. We're gonna kick the king's butt. And save everyone in Vaugard. And save everyone in Vaugard! You all nod determinedly. All right, let's get ready. So I'm curious, what is it that we're holding in our hands? Um, they look like little, just like baubles, little balls. I don't know if that's what we store our magic in or our powers. Oh, here we go. I have my orb right here. Let's open the house then. Okay, so we've got some magic orbs. 
Maybe we each had to bring one to unlock the whatever that is. A Katamari. <laughs> Ooh. You can use the joystick to move around. Before leaving to explore the house, you should talk to your party by pressing A when standing in front of them. All right, let's talk with Mirabelle first. Mirabelle looks worried. Oh, I hope everyone in the house is okay. I haven't gone inside the house since the king attacked. I don't know if anyone escaped. I hope the head house maiden is okay at least. Okay. You approach Odile carefully. Odile and I seem to not not get along as readily, at least on the surface. Oh, Sifrin. Sifrin, Sifrin, not Sifran. <laughs> Sifran. You're the fastest of all of us, so I'm counting on you and your speed, as always. Which is to say, please walk in front, so hopefully your reflexes will keep all of us out of trouble. Me and my slow old woman reflexes, thank you. <laughs> we smile sleepily at Isabeau. Hey, Sif. Still sleepy, are we? You should have told me. I could have covered for you so Odile wouldn't notice. You wonder how Bonnie is dealing with all this. Huh. Don't look at me like that. I'm not worried. I'm just mad. Because you guys won't let me fight. Don't think I'm weak just because I'm a kid. I'll kick your butt into next year. Okay, so we have our ragtag group here. Our friends, let's save, because we don't know what's going to happen. And uh, looks like it's time for us to move forward and see what the house has in store for us. Let's -a go. Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Ah, yes, four different, or three different ways, I guess, because we just came through one. This looks like it may be a locked door, so let's go to the left first. The storage room. Let's look around. I see a few tonics on those tables. Make sure to pick them up and give them to Bonnie before we leave. Check that closet, too. There might be some cool stuff in there. Okay, so we can interact with stuff. Small glass containers. You look around. Hmm. We found a sour tonic. Someone just took the bottle from you. <laughs> Dial said I'm on tonics duty. T -t tonics are good to keep your HP up so you don't get knocked out in battle. They're very sour, but the sourness is sure to make you awake and ready for anything. I, I appreciate that. Okay, so super sour tonic. Ooh, sour tonics for everyone to share. You know, I always wondered why they're more powerful than regular sonic t sour tonics when they're the same size. They're just that concentrated. I tried drinking a full super sour tonic once. And? What happened? I couldn't taste anything for weeks. <laughs> that reminds me of when uh, I was younger, there were these little like super concentrated lemons. Uh, con it was lemon concentrate. <laughs> And they would come in these little lemons, and I always thought it was so fun because it came in a lemon squeezy. Uh, and I tried it once, and it was so sour uh, compared because I thought it was just like lemonade inside. Uh, let me know if you've ever tried like just straight lemon concentrate or lime concentrate, or just ate a lemon. Oh my gosh, I have I I know some folks who enjoy just eating lemons, and I'm like ah uh, nope, that's too sour for me. These flyers say, House of Change open. Come and see what you can do for the community and what the community can do for you. There's some people with sparkly eyes holding hands drawn on it. <laughs> I drew these a few years ago to get people to come to the house. It's a little embarrassing now. You think they look nice. Okay. So the house in this location used to be more of a community at center, it seems, until it was taken over by this king. It's full of boxes and papers and a pendant shaped like a bell. You put the pendant in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Well, that closet was useless, but pretty pendant though. Can the pendant heal me when I'm hurt? Maybe it can, <laughs> you don't know. You look at the pendant closely. It's just a pendant, but you like it. So you put it in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Tonics and any useful items usually will be visible, but you might get some useless but interesting things if you check everything in a room. 
Okay, so now we can open our menu. Oh, cute. Okay, and I love this. And Bonnie! Because <laughs> Bonnie is a kid and we're not letting Bonnie fight, which I think is pretty interesting. Okay, and we're at level 45. So we've made it a pretty decent way through this journey, it seems. We have bow, geometric glasses, dense book, frying pan. It looks like we might be able to cook. And we have a couple of memory, or no, we can't. It's a memory of you. You have theoretically so many to choose from. It's a bow, loud and brave. This is how you remember him. Bonnie, young and angry. This is how you remember them. Odile, curious and perceptive. This is how you remember her. Mirabelle, shy and kind. I love that. Now it's curious, um, unlike a lot of the pockets and the souvenirs, the equipment and memories are grayed out. So I wonder, I mean, we can't use them currently. I wonder if this is stuff that we'll have to collect as we play through the game. Maybe if we go back in the past, I don't know what we're doing. Um, pendant, some change you got from buying a croissant. Okay. I like the little icons for the crafted water, sour tonic. It's cute. Okay, we have craft. Knife to meet you. <laughs> okay. I knew this game looked really good and this, this makes it, this solidifies that. Too clever by half, too cleaver by half. Make up the time, turn it up. Oh, these are the best, the best titles for different crafts. Oh my gosh. Okay, whoops. Let's go through other ones. Uh, Mirabelle has Jolly Round Rondo. <laughs> Deal scissors, paper. Wait, so are our elements rock, paper, scissors, literally? It's funny because we think about, like, Pokemon, for example, has a rock, paper, scissors mechanic where, you know, each of the elements kind of represents one of those. But it's funny that this is just literally, nope, it's just rock, paper, scissors. Um, we're not going to put different names to it. Super sparkle heel. I love how Mirabelle's has kind of like, like that even looks like a pendant from Sailor Moon. Um, pretty buffy friend. <laughs> Isabeau just has smash. Kaboom, your turn, come on. Okay, this is amazing. We are getting personality from the titles of these crafts that we can do. Like Isabeau is just straightforward. Like didn't the trait say just like loud? Um, angry <laughs> and Mirabelle is kind and shy and gentle very magical girl-esque uh, Sifrin we know has the puns for sure Odile is a bit more like methodical uh, definitely like that high knowledge type of character which has the classic like scissors three rock three um, feels very like old-school Final Fantasy RPG and Bonnie <laughs> Oh my gosh, Bonnie. Oh no, Bonnie was the aggressive, angry one, um, which you can see by Thousand Blows, Aggression Boost, Fortress Building, Wolf Speed, and then what Bonnie misses. Hey, it happens. <laughs> um, so Isabeau is the, the one that has the sweater like Cloud. Um, and I guess maybe there are Himbo. <laughs> Just like super encouraging, big smash, big kaboom um, team player. Oh, this is... I'm having so much fun just going through the the menu. Oh, and the... Oh, I see the memories are what's equipped to themselves. They, their memory of themselves. Oh. Because Mirabelle has the memory of Mirabelle. Oh, I wonder if we will... Something will happen when we fight the boss and we lose our sense of self. Okay. I know we're spending a lot of time in these menus, but there's clearly so much love and detail being put into them. Uh, we're learning so much about the characters, so I, I'm having a great time. Uh, Sifrin, it's you. He, they. Uh, the Traveler is our class. The Housemaiden. Mirabelle uses she, her. A housemaiden from the town of Dormont, blessed by the change god. It, this is not the first time we've heard about the change house, the change god. Uh, Isabeau is he him, a fighter from the journey of Juvent. Uh, he quit his job as a defender to join this journey. Whoops. Uh, the defender. The researcher. Uh, Odile, she, her, a researcher of something from Kabu. Uh, her craft knowledge is unparalleled. And Bonnie. 
they them. That's just a kid who brought a kid here. <laughs> a kid. Level low, HP irrelevant. Attack doing their best. Defense not great. Um, luck high. I like this. To the next level, nope. <laughs> That's really good. Okay. Oh, this is... Oh, nope. Cancel. I don't want to do that. This is incredible. A stool, but there's only one, so it'd be rude to sit down. It's a barrel. It's full of water. It's also... Okay. This is one of those kind of like... Um, if y'all haven't checked out Glitched or any uh, Earthbound sort of inspired game where you have that DNA of the sort of quirky Earthbound weirdness, um, I feel like... This has that same feel. Pocket full of ginger, pocket full of pepper, and pocket full of thyme. No pocket full of sunshine. <laughs> old, old person joke. Yes. Um. But yeah, I love I love when games allow you to explore and interact with everything, even if it doesn't do anything. If there's that sort of flavor text that comes up, it makes me really excited to just fully immerse myself in the world. Okay, so now, still, there's a lot of spices you found there. Oh, oh, I know this one. Pepper raises your attack, ginger raises your defense, and thyme makes you faster. Because spicy stuff makes people angry, ginger makes you not sick, and thyme, well, uh, I don't know actually why thyme makes you faster. Me neither, because you're messing with thyme, right? Oh, it's right there in front of you. It's right there in front of you. You look at what's on the table, crafted water. Crafted water. Just give it to all of them. <laughs> you learn fast, friend. Or give it all to them. Be careful with those items, Bonnie Face. Guard them well. Be ready to throw those at us if we need them during battle. It's probably safer than making of us all of us carry some. But Sif found those. You don't trust Sif to keep our items safe? The person who a few weeks ago also mixed up all the items we had to make a so-called super potion? No. No, I don't trust Sifrin with these items. <laughs> you cutely bat your eyes. Um, this is a crafted water. If someone gets knocked out during battle, just a drop of it is enough to wake them right up. Someone at school told me it was just coconut water. Wait, is it? <laughs> Sponsored by coconut water. Okay, again, I think the top door is probably the main one, so we're gonna go to the side ones just to be safe. Make sure we get everything we can. There's something sparkling here. Well, first, let's look at these other things. That sure is a broken pillar. A pillar? A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. A broken pillar. And that sure is a broken pillar. Okay. There's a key laying on the floor. Could it be the key to opening the door? <laughs> Probably, right? You pick it up. You found the circle key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a circle inside a circle inside a circle. Does it mean something? What's up with the circles? I mean, we saw a lot of circles on the outside of the house, so I wonder if there's something to do with the change god and, and the change god statue even looks circular, right? Uh, the design on the keychain, you mean? It's one of the symbols of the House of Change belief. It's to show that we're all part of something bigger. The first circle is inside the big bigger circle, which is also inside a bigger circle. It's also part of a house maiden's uniform. Like Belle's brooch. Yes, this is how I decided to wear it, but you can wear it however you want. As a necklace, a design on your clothes, or not at all. Breaking traditions is also part of change belief. Oh, interesting. And the teardrops on your brooch. Pretty. <laughs> Goes ding ding when I walk. Don't you love it when things go ding ding when you walk? Sure do. Hmm? But the big circle is inside anything. It's inside your hand, Sifrin. And you're inside this room, which is inside the house, which is inside Dormont, inside Vogard, inside this world, which is here. She points at the smallest circle on her keychain. It's to remind us that as much as we change, we are still a part of this world, and we all must do our part to make it a wonderful place. Hmm. 
But the world isn't inside anything. It's inside the universe. Come on, Sifrin. Oh, silly. What would it be inside of? Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you for this little art lesson. Let's get going. You nod. You put the key in your pocket. Next to the ginger, the thyme, all the spices, pepper. All right. Oh, yowchi! Uh, did you just... No. Run into the door? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, you imagined it. Oh, my God, I love him. Oh, no. I didn't think it'd be locked. The king's scared of us, right? He has to be since he's putting locked doors in our way. Hmm. Looking at the door, you notice a symbol over the keyhole. It looks like a circle inside a circle inside a circle. Just like the key you just found. Key time. You insert the key in the keyhole and open the door. All right, let's go. <gasps> Looks like we have our first creature here. Oh, let's save because we just clicked on the save slot. But then let's attack. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. Battle start. Battle tutorial time. It'll be fast, I promise. I love that. I am no... And let me know if you are too. I am known to skip through, fast forward, and not pay attention to tutorials, even though, as a developer, I... It, it just... It kills me when I watch people playing our game, and they don't pay attention to the tutorial. But I am the same way. I am only human. But first, do you know about rock, paper, scissors? Um... Yes. Of course you do, considering you've been fighting sadnesses for a while now. I love that. Anyway. Sadnesses you'll fight might either be rock type, paper type, or scissors type. If you pay close attention to their appearance, you might find a clue as to what rock, paper, scissors type they are weak against. Then now here's some battle facts about you and your party. You! Scissors type, weak to rock. Okay. Fast, can make everyone faster. Mirabelle! Scissors and paper type, weak to rock. Oh, so you can be a dual type. That's cool. Heals and can boost friend's attack. Isabel, rock type, weak to paper. Hits hard, can boost friend's defense. And Odile, a paper type, weak to scissors. Can use craft spells of any type. Slow, can make enemies slower. Bonnie, helps out randomly in battle. All right, that's it. There's a lot more, but you'll pick it up as you go. If you're lost, ask your glasses lady to examine the enemy. So that's Odile. What was, we get ready to fight. <laughs> This looks so good! Oh, do you see that, like, time? I love the active time battle system, and that's what it looks like it is. Okay, so let's see. Let's do craft. Um, so craft seems to be equivalent to, like, magic. Uh, let's deal scissors damage. Well, what what kind, what kind of uh, sadness is this? Rancour. Is core heart in French? There seems to be a lot of, like, touches of French, like, spelling here. So I wonder if that is also something that we're going to see a bit more of. I took French in high school, so that's, like, I have the most basic, basic, basic understanding and memories of, of the language. Um, so let's see. Can we do paper damage? Boost all friends attack. Let's do that for now. We're going to get to Odile, and I want to do it and examine. Boost all friends' defense. We'll do that for now. I love the little emotions that happen with their faces. Ooh! Oh, wait. Weak. So if I'm weak to it, and Odile's weak, that means it's a rock type. Because Odile definitely was paper, and paper is stronger than rock. Okay. So, let's craft, and that means we need to use, uh, wait, no, hold on. Odile's paper. Oh god, why am I getting confused about rock, paper, scissors? If Odile's paper, that means it's a scissors type. And maybe that's what the two, like, bling, at the sides at the top, that's scissors. So, if it's scissors, that means we need to use rock. Okay, let's see. Yeah! Okay, here we go. Uh, if we attack, what is our type again? Gosh, I'm gonna have to... I don't remember. Um, let's just do basic attacks. 
That should be fine. Oh! Bonnie wax the enemy! <laughs> this is crying. Are those tears? Okay. Okay, it's resistant. Um, and I believe Isabeau is rock type. Maybe. I don't know. You feel weaker. <gasps> okay, so Sifrin. Let's just go with basic attacks. That should be okay. Oh wait, what's this on the side next to Odile? Rock, scissors, scissors, rock, scissors? Is that... Is that me? No, Odile's paper. So is that what the elements of the attack coming up are going to be? Okay. I'll have to pay attention to that next time. How fun! Oh, I love this battle system already. Familiar seems pretty straightforward, but lots of fun to think about. You breathe in and out. Got lots of experience. Okay. I'm interested to see how frequently the enemies regenerate. Here's another different type of sadness. Tristesse. Okay, so let's do... Let's see if the scissors works against you. Resist. Okay. Oh, that's my attack that I've done, because now the scissors just popped up. Okay. So let's see. Let's do a paper damage. Let's try paper. Yeah. Okay. So paper works great. Isabeau only does rock, so I'm going to boost defense. And you can do papers. So we're going to do that. Nice. Okay. It's pretty helpful to have a tracker of what elements you've attacked with. Um, if you're paying attention, that'll help you remember. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick check. Ah, okay, enemies will regenerate as soon as you leave a room. Ooh, these designs are so interesting. Okay, this is Tristess, so we know that paper works really well. Um, let's make our friends a little faster. And let's do... Whoop, where's the paper attack? There we go. Oh wait, no, scissors! Ugh. Scissors is what we want. Okay. Although it seems okay to just, like, attack if we need to just get HP down. Things don't seem to be super weak if we just do a basic attack. And by things, I mean our strength isn't super, super weak. Ooh, more places to explore. Barrel, single stools. <laughs> Can we just do, take, can we take a spear? Why the need for an armory and weapons in the first place? Does the house often get attacked? Oh, not at all. Well, you know, except for right now. This is just one of the many classes the house gives. It's very popular with young adults. In a few weeks, you can learn to make your very own weapon. It's not only in Dormont. Jouvance, Jouvance house gives smithing classes too. Most people put the weapon on their wall to look cool. It does look cool. You can see it up there as an example. My sister took a class like this. She made a massive hammer and tried to hang it up to the wall in her room. And hammer too heavy. Wall broke. We had to share my room for weeks. How awful. I love how Odile made the joke about being old and I think Odile's probably like my age. <laughs> Odile made the old lady joke and I'm like, you don't look older than 30. Oh, look, on the wall, there's a sword. Uh, this sword looks rapier-like. Rapier? I... That's one of those words that I know is... Like, I know what it is. I just don't read it out loud very much, and I don't think I've really heard it very much. So I feel like I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> you want to take it, Mira? Um... Taking things that don't belong to you is bad. But yes, I would like the sword. <laughs> You got over that quickly. Ooh, you got the needle sword. Needle. Is that a Game of Thrones reference? That's that's when that's the sword Arya had, right? Like needle, like a little pinprick. A big steel thing with a stone on it and an oven for weapons. Those things have a name, but you can't remember what it is. It's a forge, and that's an anvil, Zifrin. And the stone is a sharpening stone. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's this? There's a strategy book called The Pretty Book of Pretty Strategies on the table. Ooh, should I read out a passage? Ask her to read. Ooh, normal attacks. Okay, so this seems like tutorial stuff embedded into lore. Let's see. Normal attacks are pretty cool, but remember they're slightly weaker than craft skills. But also remember, they pretty much never go into cooldown. And after attacking, your attack speed will be slightly faster. It's pretty useful if you want to get those jackpot points. Say it with me now. Normal attacks are quick and great for jackpot points. Okay. You, Isabeau, and Bonnie repeat this sentence back under your breath. Hmm. All right. Well, that's... What's a jackpot point? Um... Okay, let's look at craft skills. I was curious if craft skills have like an MP or something to limit the times I can use it, but I don't think so. Um, craft skills are pretty cool, but remember the strongest, the stronger the craft skill is, the longer it'll take before it's out of cooldown. But also remember craft skills are pretty cool. Say it with me now, craft skills are pretty cool, okay. Um, just for the sake of learning and to show off the the systems in this game. I'm going to read the other two just to make sure. Guarding is cool, but remember while you're guarding, your attack speed will be pretty slightly lowered. Keeps you protected longer though. But also remember, guarding halves pretty much any damage dealt to you. <laughs> by half. <laughs> really emphasize by half. Say it with me now. Guarding halves pretty much any damage to you dealt. Dealt to you by half. Um, so by how much? By half. Okay, and then escaping, which... Oh, no buffs. Uh, buffs are cool, but remember, crafting a buff on someone twice won't make it more powerful. Okay. But the effects will last longer. Alright, so there's a, each one, like, because I think one of the buffs was like, last for two turns, so we can at least extend the duration. That's cool. And then the last little bit of tutorial is escaping which i will probably avoid as much as possible escaping from battle is pretty cool but you can't escape fights against bosses you just can't um press cancel when it's your turn and select escape okay so nothing too surprising there now oh, there's another enemy another sadness here they're pretty aggro i feel like um they notice me quickly. All right, so Sifrin, let's just do a regular attack. Uh, we'll do a regular attack. I believe rock was what we wanted to do to these folks. If I'm remembering correctly. Yep. Ooh, Rancor strengthens. All right. Oh, and it looks like we are very close to perishing. Our HP is very low. Uh, let's do a rock attack. Uh, and can we make all friends faster? I'm gonna do a healing. Oh, there we go, Bonnie! Whacking the enemy. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a super sparkle heal. Cute. Okay, and... Oh, I wonder if the cooldown is how quickly that bar charges, uh, that under the HP, you'll notice the bar moves in between turns. I wonder if that's what it is. Oh, or maybe it's one, is like one more turn left. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you feel weaker? Oh no! Okay, Sifrin. Can't make up the time. Let's just do a regular attack. Uh, we'll do... Oh, 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 dial. Yeah, okay, so we have to wait two turns. Cool down. Okay, that's what the sweat is. Nice. This is good music, too. I like it. Let's see what's behind door number two. It's locked! Shaped like egg. I do love egg. Shucks. 
we'll have to fight. I wonder if, especially if we go through areas a lot, if there's going to be a way to avoid enemies or... I don't know. Um, just kind of mitigate the grind, I guess. That's always my curiosity when I go into games like this, is how, how will we be able to avoid feeling like we're grinding in an RPG because so many RPGs now find ways to like mitigate some of that. Um, let's do all enemies because we know we've got two. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, wild strike. Okay, we'll do a rock three. Nice. Uh, we'll do just a regular attack. Scissors. Scissors. It's resistant, but that's okay. With Isabeau, that's a rock. So we're not healing in between attacks to or battles, so I need to just make sure to also keep an eye on that. It looks like looks like we can avoid pretty easily though. At least in that room, as long as you can walk around. Oh, <gasps> cute! Okay, sadness got all mixed up. What does that mean? Hmm. Is scissors? You say a cool one-liner. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up these names. I feel like... Sharin... Sharin? Peen? Dipit? Day day pit. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me look up these words really fast. So, it looks like day pit means spite. Uh, I think chagrin means embarrassment. Chagrin, or no grief, grief. Okay, chagrin is I think how it's pronounced. And what was the other one? Pen means sadness. Interesting. Okay, so one of them I think had tress and doesn't that mean hair too? So I, again, this is really cool. There is that like French language connection for anyone who speaks French. So it's kind of fun Okay, so are they all weak to scissors? No, okay, so Are you then weak to paper? Yes! Alright, okay. Um, we're just gonna do basic attack. Bonnie, wax the enemy. Thank you, Bonnie. We're just gonna do that to get through. And paper we know is the weakness, but attacking seems to be working just fine. Dip it. Strikes wildly. Okay, we breathe in and out. I appreciate that reminder after every battle. It's nice to have that, like... <sighs> just reminder to, to breathe a little bit. I wanted to see how aggressive they were. Uh, so, Trist... Let me look this up, too. <laughs> okay, so looking this up, this is pronounced Tristesse, and it also means sadness. So these are all just different words that mean sadness and i'm sure i'm sure in the language and like in context it probably has slightly nuanced meanings but i oh god really cool bonnie wax them yeah so i'm perished so i should probably heal um i wonder if i if i save that heals me up too okay we've got some vials salty broths Ooh. salty broth will lower, lower all someone's crafts cooldowns by two that is very useful. Some books, one of them, is a very striking cover of a moodoo clay figurine with large sunken eyes and a screaming mouth. <laughs> Ooh, no fun. What is that? Croissant? A chair, but there's only one? No, but there's more than one. What are you talking about? Also, again, I see details over there. I see the plate with three croissants. Crafted water, we give it to Bonnie. Oh, but can we not get the pastries? The croissants look so good. A figurine of the change god it has been destroyed. Someone came through and destroyed all of the change god figurines, it looks like. Is it cutlery? 
Yeah, dummy. Why do you have to ask? No, 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 no. I'm asking Madame Odile. Is it cutlery you're studying? Cutleryology? <laughs> this is it, right? Did I get it? Wrong again, mister. I swear, your guesses are getting more and more eccentric. Who makes their research all about cutlery, of all things? Some people, I'm sure. Not me. Hmm. Oh well, I'll figure it out one day. Sure you will. You're also curious, but neither Isabeau or you managed to find out what Odile is studying yet. Okay, we've got a mystery here. They've been on a journey and it's been maybe like a guessing game that's kept them going. You know, when it's late at night, they're sitting by the fire after a boss battle. Craft game for kids, a fishing game, checkers. <gasps> checkers. We should play team checkers again. Sif and I will kick your butts. Uh, I think I'll pass. Last time we played, Sifrin cheated the whole time and you didn't even notice. My obliviousness makes me a wonderful teammate. Oh, I like I like the relationship they have. It's like they they have such different personalities, but it seems like they all do care for one another. Ooh, what's this? Floating water. You feel like you shouldn't touch it. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> the door is locked tight. The lock keeping it closed has an interesting shape. It doesn't have a hole for a key. You look at it curiously. Isabeau sees you look. Have you ever seen a lock like this before, Sif? It's a special kind of Vogardian lock. Instead of a key, it needs specific words to open. Words? Yes, you just need to say the words aloud. I think they call it, um, uh, uh an open phrase? An open phrase. Fascinating. So what is the phrase for this lock? I do not know. Ah, so it's locked. Yes. Hooray. What's this room, though? I think it may be a storage room? I often saw sort I often saw Dormont's shopkeeper go there, so he might know the open phrase for it. If we had remembered to ask. Oh. Well, too late now, right? Hmm. Alright, <laughs> we're gonna have to fight, um, because we have... Oofda! Oofda! Okay, so we are low on health. Two turn cooldown, so let's heal ourselves. Um, let's look in our pockets. We have the crafted water. Uh, I was hoping to, to test it at a save point, but we're, we're just not gonna risk that. Um, and now we know Scissors is going to be... Oof. Yay, Bonnie! Runs in with snacks! Thank you, Bonnie! Uh, Scissors is the one that's gonna be the weakness of this. Trist. Trist. Tristy? Trist? I forget. Oh, double battle whammy. Ooh, we've got our three little sadnesses here. Cool. You breathe in, and out. It's a good reminder. I really, really, really like it. Okay, since we're here, is this more floating water that we shouldn't touch? Okay. Okay, we will resist. In real life, I probably wouldn't be able to, but it looks like my character is... Sif is okay resisting. Oh, this looks like more of a maze, perhaps? Oh, I am definitely not looking around me, and I am admiring the view instead, so tell me if I'm about to run into something dangerous. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You don't know what that floating water does, but it does feel dangerous. You keep Isabel from running into them. Huh? Huh? Whoa. What? What is it? Is it the water? Should I not touch the weird floating water? We've seen it in the previous hallway, didn't we? I wonder what it is. Oh wait, I've heard about these. The villagers in Dormont call them tears. If you touch them, you get frozen in time. Wait, so I almost died? Maybe you should pay more attention, distracted one. I'm keeping my eyes open for all threats, except for the ones in front of me. We should be more careful. We wouldn't want to touch those. Also, also, I heard that being frozen makes you go to sleep and gives you a super good dream. Oh? Oh? Huh? Oh. Did you hear this from the people in Dormont, too? Uh, 
Um, um, a nice lady told me that when she heard my sister got frozen. Okay, okay, so maybe this lady was trying to just be nice and, um, console you with this story, maybe? Oh. Oh, oh! Oh. I, I know it's not true. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Just, it would be nice if that was true. So, so you should touch the word frozen water and be frozen and let me know how it goes. Pass. Well, we might still need to go this way, so we should look around and find if there's a way to make them disappear. Hmm, okay. Ooh, new. Another, they, I like how even though they have the same name, the figures look a little bit different. And again, this one again has the scissor sign, right? So I'm thinking they're signaling to us like, oh, that is my type. I'm just gonna attack though. Even though I know it's not gonna be as effective. Uh, we know rock is gonna be strongest against scissors. Uh, let's do a super sparkle here. Figure, at least, seems to have an indicator. Most of them at least seem to have an indicator of their type. These sprites are cute, by the way. I don't think I mentioned it, but they're very cute. The sadness. Aw, oh, poor buddy lost his friends. Whoa, this one feels weird. Bonnie face, it may look different, but it's still a sadness, like all the ones we've seen before. Mm, it still feels weird. I believe the preteen when it comes to the sadness weirdness, madame. Let's get the weird sadness then. Okay, here we go. Mini boss, sub boss, pre boss. Okay, so there's no way for me to tell. Uh, this one does not seem to have an indicator of what kind of melancholy. <gasps> oh! Okay, so it's resistant to scissors. So that means. Uh, it's a rock, perhaps? Let's use our Super Sparkle Heal. Uh, so if it's rock, that means paper is probably where we want to try. I'm doing this right? Yeah. Let's do boost. Turn it up. Let's do the Odile, because we know Odile is going to be the strong one. Ooh, actually, let's do examine, because we have not done that before. This one, is this just me, or is there something weird about it? It seems a little stronger than the sadnesses we've seen so far. And it's not showing its hands. It's crabby annoying. <laughs> we could observe its attack, so look at it carefully when we hit it. Okay, so... Stuff we already knew, but it's just kind of cool to see how things work. That crit was really good, though. 770. Ooh, ooh strong. Okay. Um, Mirabelle's cooldown is still in effect, so let's just keep attacking for now, I guess. Oh, resistant. Ugh. Okay, give your turn to a friend, boosting their attack and crit chance. We can do that. Let's boost all our friends' defense. Okie dokie. Now I know this is gonna be ineffective if I just attack, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to buff right now. Oh no! Okay, so again, paper, we need one more time to cool down, so let's just do a regular attack. And we are going to use the pockets to restore our wonderful, wonderful friend. Okay. Go, Bonnie, go! Oh, Bonnie missed! Okay. Uh, oh, dial. Paper should work. And this should be the final blow. You breathe in. And out. 1500! Isabella's Isabeau is now 46. And learn the craft skill so weak! <laughs> Odile oh, is level 46. The sadness left something behind when it dissolved. You got the star crest. You put it in your pocket. Feels weird too, like the tears we just saw. Okay. Hmm, maybe it'll be useful later. Maybe it'll help us get rid of the water? 
Now what I'm curious, um, because we had that interaction at the door. A hole in the wall. The hole doesn't really bring you anywhere. Uh, with the interaction at the door, we needed a password and they said the shopkeep at... <laughs> Ah, okay, we need to just fight them. Uh, the shopkeep at Dormont knew it, and we just didn't ask. Because, from reading the Steam page, I know that there's a bit of a time manipulation aspect to this. I wonder if that's going to be part of what we can do, is if we come back here after having played our adventure at some point, we'll remember and know the passcode so we can go into that door. We can get a good basic paper, and we are done. This is really fun. I I said it already. I keep I will keep saying it. I have very much enjoyed this so far. The tear floats gently. You have a star crest, so use it. Free pack time. <laughs> All right. Bye bye tears. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, condiments and spices. Oh, and pepper juice, ginger juice, thyme juice. Give them all to Bonnie for safekeeping. Nothing else interesting. Okay. Super sour tonic. Beautiful. Oh, ow. You hit your hip on the counter and it made an embarrassing sound. Oh, Sifrin. <laughs> did you really hit the counter and say, yeah? <laughs> you did. No. Okay. Yeah. Madame? <laughs> Again, this is wonderful just seeing them as they're in this the home stretch of their adventure, right? I love seeing their closeness and the way that they poke fun at each other. It's really, really good. The Dormant Boulangerie. Dormant's Mignon Boulangerie. Bread 20% off every Saturday because we loaf you as much as you loaf our bread. Like, uh, uh. Bad. <laughs> Hey, Sif, you look at Isabel. Considering how much bread we bought from them for dinner yesterday. Let's go. Loving us is the yeast they could do. No. No! Not allowed! <laughs> yes, teamwork. Oh my gosh. The set, the spike, it's so good. Yay! A kitchen closet. You open it and found the egg key. The keychain is shaped like an egg. Does it mean something? That's an egg. An egg. Enough? Is it enough? Is it enough? Because an egg in French is enough. Uh, Bonnie is making grabby hands. You give Bonnie the key. Ah, so the next key should be a broken egg, right? Are eggs important to the change belief somehow? Yes, an intact egg and a broken egg. We... Where the egg getting out of the egg change also means destruction, blah 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 blah. Well, um, yes, pretty much. Can't make pancakes without breaking a few eggs. It's omelets, bon bon. You're an omelet, saw. Huh? A terrifying rebuttal from the preteen. <laughs> and, and for every change, something needs to break. Maybe changing yourself will hurt someone. Maybe changing means leaving a part of yourself behind. It's to remind us that before changing, we must stop and think about what will be irreparably destroyed. Hmm. Some foreshadowing here, perhaps? Maybe. Maybe that's what this game will address in its narrative? I don't know. But destruction is just a part of change, and we must accept it. Yeah. It'd be awful to keep yourself from becoming a person you feel comfortable with just because it would upset someone else. Truth. Huh. That's a harsher belief than I thought. Bonnie is still looking at the egg keychain. Hmm. What is, what is this evoking in Bonnie? Jump. Bonnie tried to take a bite. Okay. This is just making Bonnie hungry. Jump, jump. <laughs> it's carved out of stone, Bonnie face. Maybe the keychain had a secret, madame. Uh-huh. Stupid crap and rock. Bonnie gives you back the key. It's sticky. Are these some pancakes? Oh, cookies. They're frozen in time. Oh. Hot, filled with bubbling food, frozen in time. And the steam is also frozen in midair. Ooh, so what's inside? Uh, looks like they were cooking crab. What? Ah, crab? 
What's happening? Yeah, why why are we not happy with that? Duh. Someone was cooking crab in a house of change of all places. Food tasted like crab, but literally. Why would someone do this? I, um... Odile looks at you with question marks in her eyes. I have question marks in my eyes, too. Let me know if you have question marks in your eyes, too. I love crab. What's wrong with crab? Dead. It's tasty, but they all seem very upset. You shrug at Odile. I am very confused. Is this a Valgardian thing? Please don't tell me you eat crabs in Kabu. I, I don't think I could handle it. No, not really, but we don't have such an aversion to them. Hmm. Okay. Well, I, oh, wait, wait. Is it... Is this like dolphins? What about them? In Kabu, we don't like dolphins. Something about them being too smart? Are crabs... smart? No, they're stupid and don't even walk right. Crabs just look weird, I think. Crabs are so cute. Who are you all? What the heck? I have... Y'all haven't seen Planet Earth 2 or our planet 2, whatever it's called. There's a whole episode on like migrations of animals. And there's a crab migration and it's so flippin' cute. Oh my God. Just watch it. Nature documentary stuff. It's good. But also it shows that walruses like hug their babies and they, oh my God. I was like genuinely just sobbing at this mama walrus hugging her baby. It was amazing and sad and wonderful tangent done. <laughs> Grabs just look weird, I think. I've never actually thought about it. I thought it was like spiders. Every human thinks spiders look scary. <laughs> Saw's afraid of spiders. <laughs> no, I'm a big, strong man. So crabs are weird and don't walk, right? Okay. Uh, and they're inevitable. Uh-huh. I still don't understand anything. You also still don't understand anything. Valgar is weird. Interesting. Okay. Sink in some kitchen utensils. Here! What? What is it? Walk. Bonnie points to a big, thin cooking pot. Walk. Walk. Yes, that's a walk. Walk! <laughs> It's so cute. You got the walk. You give the walk to Bonnie to equip later. Oh, hey, wait. New weapon. And I didn't even equip. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I realized we had a whole new sword for Mirabelle. Uh, with higher defense, it looks like. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, Bonnie, let's get you a walk. Which gives you slightly lower attack. Why would we want to do that? Um, let's do a frying pan. <laughs> we'll just keep the walk for sentimental value. Okay, so we got our egg key. Now we got to make the trek all the way back. Um, and hopefully not get into too many fights. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Oh. More, more fighting. I will say the battles are fun, but I would love to see something again, kind of like in Earthbound, where it's like after a certain point, either the enemies don't mess with you because you're too high level, or um, they just don't regenerate as fast. Uh, but again, small, small co like complaint or feedback, I guess. Ultimately, it's a thing that happens in RPGs, so also I'm not too frustrated or upset, but it's one of those quality of life things I think I've gotten used to, uh, just with all of the RPGs I've been playing lately. <laughs> um, I do really like this mechanic, though, of being able to give your turn to a friend. Both Isabeau and Sif have it, and I think that's been really helpful in these instances where I'm like, scissors doesn't really do anything, for example, but I can give my turn to Odile, who will be much more effective, um, and that makes the battle feel less like it's dragging on. So I think that's really, really cool. Breathe in and out. Okay. So we're exploring, exploring. This is the egg door, or the egg hallway again. I wonder where this will lead to. Lots more hallways. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, flat palm, that means a paper sadness. So we should be good with scissors. You see a cool one-liner? <laughs> cool. Cool is right. Okay. What's nice is you generally can outpace these enemies. It's just a little bit tedious because if you mess up, you just don't, you know, you get in a battle anyways. Um, the handwriting is, is terrible, so you can barely read what's on the note. Some rolled up papers. You unroll one. It's a bunch of sketches of landscapes, okay? Oh my, the paper is filled with sketches of naked people doing fun things. Oh, you look at them curiously. Oh, oh my. Huh, neat. Show me, I can't see what it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Mirabelle hurriedly covers Bonnie's eyes and makes him take two steps back. But I want to see. No, 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 no. It's not allowed. You're not allowed. Yeah, it's not for little ones, Bonnie face. Yep, can't let you do that, Bon Bon. Bleh. Bonnie is looking straight at you. Bryn. <laughs> Can I look? Well, nah, definitely not. <laughs> Aw. Oh, so it's really not allowed. Why did it take Sifrin saying it for you to realize? Friends lets me do things when you guys say no sometimes. But even if Friends says it's not allowed, then it must be something really not allowed. So I won't look. Well, good. Sifrin, what the crap did you let Bonnie do when we said no? Whoa. <laughs> he let me drink some vodka once. There was a difference between us, Bonnie. <laughs> Oh, what? Sifrin? Uh-oh. I didn't really get why Odell likes it, though. It tasted just like boring water. <laughs> Sorry. That sounds like an amazing practical joke to play on a kid, actually. Sifrin. Sifrin did it. It was! In case, in case you ever need a trick to play, that's a good one. Swap out some some vodka with water. Some tiny paintings. They must have been crafted to move, but they're frozen in time. A dresser with art books. You open the drawer and you found the broken egg key. The keychain dangling from it, shaped like an egg broken in half, and you put the key in your pocket. In someone's drawer? What a weird place for a key. Definitely not a very king-like place, huh? That's pretty stupid of him. I'm not sure. Hiding keys in places like drawers isn't very king-like, yeah, but it means they're harder to find since it's not a very expected place. But thank we, thankfully we have our good old Sif to help us find them. Thank you, Sifrin. Good job, Sifrin. Yay, good job. She claps sarcastically, which makes everyone join her enthusiastically. You take a bow. Okay, what's in this closet? Art notebooks and supplies and... <gasps> A crumpled pile of hand-drawn cards. Pick one? Sure. You pick a card at random, and this card is a drawing of a hand holding a piece of wood. The bottom says Ace of Wands. You've got the drawn card. All right, we put it in our pack of souvenirs. Got a nice comfy looking bed, some papers, newspaper articles about the king. Is this the king's room? Hmm. What's in this area? Ah, more, more stuff to look at. A pair of glasses. Unlike the case, the glasses are completely opaque. Glasses you can't even see out of? Absolutely useless. Are you gonna take them? Hmm. Yes, come on, Odile. You know you want to. Yes, <laughs> I'll take them. Cool. Okay, we'll equip those later. Barrel full of water. Gotta stay hydrated. Some books on the House of Change, and a book from the series The Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue 51. Hmm. A tidy bed. Some vials, good sour tonics. A craftonomy book. Ooh, is this a craftology book? Piercing craft, creative craft. Where's the protecting craft chapter? It's a craftonomy book, not a craftology book. This one's about the study of craft, not your fortune. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to know my horoscope today. This place has been frozen for a few months now. I don't think it'd be up to date. <laughs> you really like that sort of stuff, don't you, Isabeau? 
Yes, I do. It's absolutely useless and has no basis in reality, but I like it when some letters tell me I'm gonna have a good day. You're a protector craft, aren't you, Isabel? People who use it are patient, honest, loyal, and very gullible. That sure is me. <laughs> you're very gullible. Bonnie, you're laughing, but aren't, aren't you... Aren't you using protector craft? No! Yes, I do seem to remember this being the case, kiddo. No! It's not the same! I'm not gullible! <laughs> you like being able to be near them and not have to contribute to the conversation! Again! I'm like, we are so fresh into this game. You know, we've only been playing just, like, just over an hour-ish. I feel so connected to these characters to their relationship, to their friend group. Being silent and surrounded by people you like is nice. I'm very much that person. Um, I, especially in group situations, I don't like to feel like I have to contribute. I am much more like quiet and it's just, I don't, I don't like having huge, huge conversations or feeling like I have to fight to be heard or fight to like contribute. And so if in a big group, I really enjoy just sitting back and like people watching one-on-one, um, -on -one, I like, I definitely talk a lot more or even in a small group of like two, um, maybe three. But let me know in the comments if you've ever been in situations where you're with your friends and you just enjoy being silent and not having to contribute just like Sif, because that's a feeling I very much relate to. Oh, wax and candle making supplies. That smells nice. Good. Instructions on how to craft candles. Unlike normal candles, it seems crafted candles last longer and can change smells as time goes by. That's cool. Candle making station. I have no idea what this smells like. Hmm. Apples and cinnamon. Pie smell? Pie smell. Pie smell. Pie is a very good smell. Okay, so broken egg means... <laughs> no! I don't want to battle you! Oh man. <laughs> I just wanted to get to the broken egg door. It's key time. You insert the key in the keyhole and open the door. Oh, this seems like a big boss. This seems like the the door. A sadness. It seems to be guarding the rest of the house from us. Uh, I'd feel strong. Stronger than those we've seen thus far. Get ready, everyone. Whew, okay, here it goes. Now this seems like a big deal. Battle start, and the music's different too. And I think for most of the battles, the sort of parallaxing, like looping background's been going to the diagonal. I think this is the first time it's moving down, but I'm not sure. Big ball head. Big ball head. Wait, something's happening. Oh, ding, ding, ding. You are a rock type. Something appeared for a second on the big ball head. That was a rock sign. Does it mean something? We can probably assume that it's current craft type. If you need help, Sifrin, let me know and I'll analyze this enemy. Ooh, it's fast, too. Okay, so it's a rock type. Um, let me make everyone faster, because this this guy's speedy. Calamity. Ooh, okay. Let's see. So if you're a rock type, let's do an artsy silent first. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of HP. Okay. All right, well, let's do lowers enemy attack. Let's try and debuff this. Um, let's use paper. Okay. Um, Sifrin, we can't buff, but if you're rock type, let's give, um, paper another chance. Um, okay, good, good, good. Pretty buffy friend. All right, let's buff everyone's attacks. Maribel strikes a pose. That's very cute. Okay, let's give our turn to Odile. Odile's putting in overtime. Um, yep, we can't use. Aw, <sighs> oh, shucks. Sadness changed craft type. Craft <laughs> type. It's paper now. 
Okay. Well, that stinks. Um, and it's immune to its current type. But if it's paper, that's good. Knife to meet you. That's lowering its defense, too. Okay, let's see. Let's use the Jolly Rondo. We're gonna have to have Mirabelle heal next time. Okay, so let's see. We can't give a turn to a friend. Let's just attack. Okay, so it's immune to everything except the one thing it's resistant to. Uh, two cleaver by half. Calamite attacks. Oof, duh. Okay, let's see. We can do a scissors three. Now I have to be careful because it's probably going to change type in its next turn. I would guess. Oh, shoot, I should have had Mirabelle heal. Good job, Bonnie! Yes. Okay, let's do one more. Have Sifrin maybe do one more magic, one more craft. We'll probably, we should do a buff after this. Oh, everyone unleashed a scissors attack. Heck yes. Oh, I think because we had everyone do scissors. Okay. Um, Odile. Let's see. Let's do. Um. Hmm. Uh, let's do slow. Good. This will change. Allow it to change its uh, type a little bit slower. Um. Oh, we're actually doing okay on health, so I'm gonna keep going on the offense and attack. <laughs> Still attack as well. Uh, we can't give away the turn, but that's okay. We're gonna boost defense. Calamite attacks. Youch! Time for a change. But you can't see anything. Looks like you'll have to figure out its type based on how it attacks. Rude. So rude. Okay, well, fine. Let's do, turn it up, give a turn to our good friend Odile. And see if we can examine it. It's not advertising this new craft type anymore. Ah, shucks. Okay, well, that was kind of useless. <laughs> I feel like the examine has not been as fruitful or as useful as I was hoping it would be. Um, okay, well, since it was already rock and already paper. I would assume it's scissors, maybe if it's just going on a rotation. Um, so let's try and do rock. Immune. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mirabelle, is, do you have a buff? Let's boost attack, just for funsies. Um, so we know rock didn't work out. Let's do... let's try a scissors attack. Alright. Looks like scissors is the name of the game right now. Oh, dial. Let's go. This isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, which is really, really nice. <laughs> Unless there's some secret powerful attack that's gonna make us, uh, really unhappy. Dang, we're gonna have a scissors attack, but I can't give away... <sighs> I can't give away because the your turn is on cooldown. Um, so let's just do a buff. Alright, Bonnie! Good job! Let's see, will this count? Will this allow us to do a scissors attack? It will! Oh, that's so fun! We didn't need it, but that's really cool. I love that also, as we were playing, uh, we were able to figure that out, which is really, really neat. Okay, lovely moving cure. Level 47, perfect. We did it! Victory! All right, let's keep moving. Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna be meeting the king. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.
This room feels different than the others, doesn't it? It's missing the threatening pressure the rest of the house has. Shall we take a little break, then? <laughs> no! We should keep going and... Uh... Oh. What was that? Um... I think I'm hungry. Ugh! My time! My time! <laughs> my time to be the leader! Why? Because it's snacks time, baby! Snacks are important to keep hunger away and keep morale up. I learned that because I'm a growing kid. That sure is true. But, but do we have time to... Mira. Let's take a break, alright? Even people blessed by the change god like you need to take a break sometimes. Oh my god, they're so cute! You guys stay here. I'll get some snacks ready. Okay, snack leader. Well, I remembered something. Isabel, heads or tails? Huh? Uh, boo, boo, tails. Odell takes a coin from her pocket and flips it in the air. Flip, flip, flip. It fell on tails. Huh. I lost. Yay! What do I win? The sweet taste of victory and nothing else. I don't even get a congrats. Wow, madame. I thought we were friends. We're not friends. We're associates. Not companions. Colleagues. Allies at best. Not even soulmates? Can't believe you've gone down being an acquaintance now. No! What was the coin flip about, madame? Oh, uh, well, you know that big tree in the village before we got here? The favor tree? the favor tree to make me win my next coin flip. Huh? Such a silly favor. Purely for scientific reasons, I was wondering whether this favor tree business had any truth to it. As we can see, it doesn't. Mm hmm. See, we're getting all these tastes of adventures, and I'm like, will, will we get to go to the favor tree? Will we see this? Well... What is it, Saffron? Or not Saffron. Bon? Bon Bon? But Madame O'Dial didn't put any thought or hope into her favor, so why would it come true, right? If you want something to come true, it definitely will. Y you think so? Absolutely. Oh, okay. So it looks like Bon Bon was thinking and nervous about maybe the favor that they asked of the favor tree. That's right. Bonnie probably wished for their sister to be okay, didn't they? Okay, who wants snacks? I have snacks. Today I have many snacks at your disposal. I have oh, some plantain chips. Ooh, did you use the last of those not bananas to make them? Yes, yes I did. Crunchy, delicious, and full of potassium. That's plantain chips. You all clap. Second snack is some boring but delicious cookies. Great sales pitch. Boring but delicious. Cookies, the taste of home. What kind of home is boring but delicious? Zah, you're weird. And for our third and final snack, we are proud to present... Uh... Some, uh... Uh... Oginiri. Onigiri. Orinigi. Onigiri. Onion giri. You messed that one up on purpose. Yes! I have some onigiris for everyone. One of those cobbound rice balls, right? Yeah. Rice. I. Love. Rice. Me too! Let me know in the comments if you love rice too. It's one of my favorite, favorite things in the world. It goes good with everything. You can make it savory. You can make it sweet. You can make it spicy. Rice is perfect. You and every other kid on this planet, Bonnie Face. <laughs> now, choose. Choose which one you want. Don't worry, I have enough for everyone. You'd like... <gasps> Yay! I've noticed in a lot of these cases we've had the box, like we could have dialogue options, but we only have one. And again, because, again, I read the Steam page, I know that there is a time loop thing happening. I wonder if as we go through a time loop, maybe the way we play it will open up other options for dialogue as we get to this final area. Because, uh, like, this is the first time we've been able to pick. Usually we only have the one choice. Like when, um, whether or not we let Bonbon bon see 
<laughs> the naked drawings. Um, I would love some onigiri. There, you go! Bonnie hands you one onigiri. Odell taught Bonnie how to make onigiri a few weeks back. You wonder what Bonnie put inside this time. Mm? Apple slices. Did you put apple slices in the onigiris? Yeah. Dial put a plum in hers before, so I figured I'd try putting another fruit in there. Is it good? I can imagine. I don't think it would be horrible. It would just be kind of an unexpected flavor combination, right? You tried, Bonnie Face. I did. S -s so? So do you all like it? Did I do a good job as snack leader? You absently nod. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come on, Odile. Uh, um, uh-oh. You say very loudly. Thank you for snack lead. Thank you, snack leader, for this delicious meal. Oh, this is so good. Thank you, Bonnie. Mmm, so good, Bon Bon. I feel refreshed, invigorated, alive. Huh. Come on, Odile. Odile, come on. Bon Bon looks up to you so much. So much. Say something nice. Mmm, good food. Yum, yum, yum. <gasps> yes! <laughs> You're so hungry. You eat your snack in two bites. That was tasty, but you're still a bit hungry. <sighs> oh well. Mm, your health has been restored. God, that's so cute. Oh, and look at them munch, munch, munching away. <gasps> this is so flippin' good. Zah, stupid. We can't be friends. That'd be like being friends with your mom or your sister. So then... Which one? Ooh, Odile, Mira, or Issa. Um, which one am I? You're... Hmm. I don't know. Is that how it works? Wait. What else? What else? I'm curious. I love these. I love these characters. Actually, Dial's more like a grandma, isn't she? You definitely can't be friends with your grandma. So Dial's the grandma in Bon Bon's mind. Um... What about Mirabelle? Belle's like a cool sister. The one who give me sweets when I ask, unlike my actual older sister who sucks. Hmm, okay, okay. So, what kind of unconfam unconventional family roles do we have? So Isa is a little brother? All right, is that how it works? And we didn't get a response from me. Oh, I hope everyone is all right. The people in Dormont? Yes, but... The king's curse probably got to them already. It was so close when we arrived a few days ago. Even if we decided to go back, there'd be nothing to come back to. So all we can do now is... T -t Tell me a joke, Sifrin, please. To get my mind off of things. Oh, um... I had a meeting with a plum today. A plum? Like the fruit? Yes, the meeting was... Oh, let me guess. Was it a very fruitful meeting? Oh no, was that it? Sorry for stealing your joke. This is the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Who are you? If you are not the funny jokes pun person, if only you could redo do this joke to make it funnier. Which again, will we? Will we come with more jokes in the next round? I don't know. Hey Sif, let me guess, you're still hungry? I can see it on your face. Want half this cookie? Isabel waves his last cookie at you. Yes. Nah, it's fine. Okay. Let's try that again, Mr. Yes, please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, but Funny Buff Isabel. I ask again, would you like half of this cookie? Yes, please, Mr. Amazing, Wonderful, Funny Buff Isabel. Of course. Here you go. Isabel gave you half of his cookie. Chomp. Thank you. No problem. Okay, and I realized I didn't ask... Oh, we don't get the chance to ask the other about the world. I guess we all have our off days, don't we? Okay. Hmm. I hope I didn't make Bonnie upset earlier. You both look Bonnie's way. Bonnie is stuffing their cheeks happily. 
Hmm, never mind. <laughs> All right, let's save. Make sure we have everything locked in before we do the final stretch. Are you ready? As, I, as I'll ever be. Let's go. Ooh, wait! Ah! What? What is it? Sorry for screaming. Sorry, sorry. Um, I, um... I don't know if this is relevant, but I, um... I recognize this corridor. Oh? I recognize it. The head housemaiden of this house used to warn us about it. I, I think... I think she called it the, the, the death corridor. Oh, that sounds bad. So, so, um... The house is supposed to be a safe building, but with the king here, some traps might be activated. Is that what you mean? Traps? Traps? A job for me, then. It is your job. Protect us, trap master! Not the first time you've had to reassure Mirabelle. Time to look around. Oh god. This is a pillar, nothing there. Uh, it's a broken pillar, nothing there. Uh, this is a broken pillar. Trying to find something. Did you find something? There is something. Yep, a whole lot of nothing. Oh, come on. This is a pillar. Nothing there. Nothing? Um, can we... This probably leads further, but you have to put Mirabelle at ease. Okay. I mean, can't check the torches up here. I don't think there's anything. This is a broken pillar. You look around trying to find something. Nothing there. This is a pillar. Nothing there. Well, you can't find any switches or traps, so... So? So? Are, are we safe? We're not safe, are we? This is the death corridor. The older housemaidens kept saying people died there. So there must be a trap, something weight sensitive or something, or or maybe it's time sensitive. If we spend too long here, oh come on now, there's nothing weird in here. But there must be. Oh Mira, Bell Bell, don't worry about it. Rin isn't good at many things, but they know stuff about traps. Hey, right. If we can't trust the one who's supposed to lead us this early, then this won't bode us. If we can't trust the one who's supposed to lead us this early, this won't bode well for later. Hey, but, but, we're not yet dead yet, are we? Well, that's true. We have been in this room for a while, and Sifrin has been walking everywhere, so if it was weight sensitive, something would have killed him by now. Exactly. It's all fine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll believe you. Sorry for worrying. I'm a little on edge. We're good, Mira. Oh. See? Cute. Oh god. Everything's fine. <gasps> As you live through the novel experience of having your body crushed by a giant rock, you feel a tug on your stomach. And what? You got cru- Okay. Not the way I was expecting this would go. What? Start again? <gasps> huh? Loop one. Mirabelle. Friend! Sifrin! Sifrin? Good morning. Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? That's just like you. Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. <laughs> I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to be ready for tomorrow. So we can finally face against the king. Oh? Uh, huh? You're still half asleep, aren't you? You just look at her. The time loop has begun. So we're, what, a day? Day out from the king? Okay, then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? Huh? Huh? 
Hold on. Did you just die? You did, you think? You must have. You were in the house, then a big rock fell, and you're in the meadow back in Dormont. And what Mirabelle said just to you, waking you up, that was very familiar. But, ah, the trap. The trap. You idiot. You stupid fool. It's your job to take care of traps, and you got taken out immediately. You didn't even see a glimpse of the king. And it's your job, stupid. Your job to see ahead. Your job to take care of traps. You couldn't even do your job, and now you're dead because you did a sloppy, awful, terrible job. Oh, man. If anyone else has made a mistake at, like, work, basically, at what you are supposed to be good at, I've had this inner monologue happen for sure. For sure. Although I did not die as a result. I will, I will give myself that. Uh, you died. You died! You felt your body being crushed, and now you're laying in the grass alive, and your skin itches, and your stomach hurts, and you died. Put your hands off your mouth and scream. Stars, you're stupid and useless. Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh no. Okay, you're over it. <laughs> you take a deep breath in and out. That line is getting very familiar to us. Phew. You put your shaking hands behind your back, pressing them hard between you and the grass. Okay, you died, that's one thing. And now you're alive and not a crepe, that's another thing. And it's apparently the day before, back when Mirabelle woke you up from your nap, that's the third thing. You went back in time? Okay, that's normal, totally normal. Totally 100% completely normal. Oh, well, at least you were in the lead, as always. Judging by where you were when you died, you're probably the only one who got hit. The only one that, in a way, you're really glad you forced to take the lead every time you and everyone else get somewhere dangerous, but... You're back. Back to the day before you went to the house. How? And why? And... Can you make sure to not die this time? Back to work, Sifrin. You have a country to save. <gasps> you got a memory of looping. You'll always remember this. I sense a little bit of that, like, rogue light element where maybe after each loop we'll only keep certain things. Maybe, like, items we collect will go away, but, um, but memories will stay. For example, like, do we have, do we have... Like, our memory of self. Memory of Bonnie, memory of self. Okay, yeah, we have those memories. Okay. Interesting. Let's save. Cute! <gasps> Sifrin, you're up! Oh, right. Mirabelle woke you up and talked to you here, too. Um... How should you act right now? You've seen this once before, so you should maybe act the same as you did the first time? Figure something out quick. Quick! Uh, hey, uh, hey again, Mira. Still half asleep, huh? How was your nap? Okay, take two. Say something. Make normal words come out of your mouth. Spartan normal words, go! Yes, correct. I was taking nap time. I know that. I was there? Oh, stars. Oh, wait. I had something I wanted to ask you. Um, I have an idea for tonight. This will be the night before we go to fight the king, so I felt like we could make it special somehow. So I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together, sleep in the same room, maybe tell stories. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Suddenly you remember where this conversation is heading. She talked to you about the sleepover, and you only said okay, like a terrible, rude, awful person, and this is the moment in the conversation where you made Mirabelle- <gasps> Oh my gosh, yes, we talked about it at the very beginning of the demo. We made Mirabelle upset twice in two days. This is our opportunity to not make her upset. Can you change it? Can you change fate? Only one way to find out. Something like, that sounds like an amazing idea, Mira. R really? 
Yay, wonderful! I can't wait for all of us to spend time together tonight. Mission complete. So you can change things. This was a small change, but if your fate isn't set in stone, then... So I'll see you later, all right? Okay, but remember what we read. We had a whole discussion about this in the castle, where if you change things, uh, it was, this is the discussion with the egg, right? If something changes, if you make a choice, something else will not happen, something else will break. So what have we destroyed in diverging the path? That's what I'm curious about. Don't forget to look around the town for a bit. You nod and wave goodbye. Okay, that was slightly different from what you remembered, but still. So it seems you really are repeating the same day, with small differences. And Mirabelle doesn't seem to be aware of it. Are you the only one repeating today? What should you do? I don't know. Hey. 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 Oh, is it, please don't let the dem- Oh. I was like, please don't let the demo be over. I'm really digging this. Come to the favor tree at the west of the village, Stardust. Okay. Okay. What? Did we not get this voice the, the first time? Daydreaming one. Hmm. Oh, hum. The woman is daydreaming, singing softly under her breath. Oh, hi. You're one of the saviors, aren't you? I recognize you. And you traveled with a few people, right? You traveled with, um... Oh, I wonder who we can focus on. Let's focus on Mirabelle. Mirabelle, I know her. She's from here. What a wonderful young woman. I never talked to her much, though. Hmm. I wonder, though, is she the younger or older sister of your group? She'd fit both, wouldn't she? <laughs> you laugh awkwardly. The woman is daydreaming. Okay. Nope. Oh, jeez, the door seems to be locked. That was an aggressive lock sound effect. <laughs> yep, that's locked too. Ooh, we have someone fishing down here. Beep, beep. <laughs> fishing one. Hee <laughs> look at their eyes. <laughs> Mischievous. What mischief are you up to as you're fishing? I am fishing. You look like someone who would like fishing. Would you like to fish for a little bit? Yeah, oh my gosh, we have fishing in this game? You take the fishing pole they're offering you. Choose a lure the same, same shade as the water. Check the fishing pole and throw it in. Yeah, this feels right. Fishing time. You didn't catch anything. Dang it! Hmm. Maybe in, maybe in a future loop we may, we may change the fate. <laughs> Smug one. Oh, hey, traveler. You're not from Vogard, are you? That's a rumor, at least. I'm from Poteria myself. I came to Vogard to further my studies a few months ago. You've talked to them before, hmm? How are you liking Vogard? It's nice, right? Lots of scholars, good food, welcoming people. Especially their houses of change. They let everyone in and aren't shy about sharing their knowledge, even if you don't follow their belief. It's strange, right? I've traveled a lot, but I've never been to a country with such welcoming people. I could move here, to be honest. Well, it's a little awkward right now with the king. I might actually be forced to move here permanently. I should pick a good spot to be frozen in. Uh, not that I think you won't win tomorrow, of course. I have faith you win, of course. Bogard is very welcoming. People always notice you're not from here, but they're more likely to ask if you'd like to stay at their home for a bit than anything else. Interesting. Okay, I wonder what we'll, like, what, what we'll delve into with that, because that seems like a pretty... We spent a lot of time thinking about it. Ah, shucks, I missed you. Let's see if I can catch you on this side. Ah! Okay. They're working out. You can see running with weights, which is pretty incredible. Ah! Wait! What? You don't want to talk to me? Come back! <laughs> Running at the exact pace. Nah! My aim. Horrible. Oh, and here's a statue. Big and small with different faces. Some of them have sad eyes, others a bright smile. A few are animated by craft. You can see them bobbing. One jumps around and bumps gently into your foot. The change god. 
deity worshipped by all of the country of Vogard stands before you. A god with a thousand faces. <laughs> Vogard is so weird. Ah, okay, I guess we just can't talk to that person. Or I'm just not gamer enough. Okay, the door seems to be locked. It's too bad, you're a little hungry. Ah, this is the Mignon Boulangerie with bread. 20% off every Saturday. Okay. Will I be able to exit? The sign says favor... Oh, the favor tree. The sign says favor tree, okay. And we're supposed to go here during stardust, so that means like the evening. You heard a voice saying you should come here. Oh, shoot. Dang it. I didn't mean to activate this. What was that voice? The tree is so big. Everything under it is dark as night. But... You feel like someone is here. Sitting at the foot of the tree. Looking at you. Ooh. Cautiously. With a hand on your dagger, you walk toward the base of the tree. Well, uh, you found someone, all right. Oh, hello, stranger. Odile? Bonnie? Oh, nope. What? At the very beginning of the demo, we ate what looked like a star like this. Hello, Stardust. We have a lot to talk about, don't we? <gasps> no! Wait! Stop! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! That was so much fun! Oh, what a hefty demo, too! That was, um, I'm. It'll be edited down for YouTube, but it, for me playing just straight through, it was a solid two hours. I'm sure the video is going to be maybe like an hour and a half, probably. I don't know. Um, that was so much. I cannot wait to play more. This is one that I was looking forward to, but has definitely risen in the ranks after playing this demo. Um, they left a lot to the imagination, a lot of questions yet to still be answered. I think more importantly, and here's the trailer so you can all watch and see more of this loop mechanic. Um, most importantly for me, I feel like I care about all of the characters. I want to know about how their relationships developed. <laughs> These deaths seem ludicrous, oh my gosh. Um, I want to know what the mystery of this time loop is, if it has to do with the way I swallowed the star at the very beginning. Oh my gosh. I'm just so excited. I, I can't wait to see more. The battle system that you can see here again that we've been watching was super fun. Um, I And I think anyone who enjoys um, RPGs, Final Fantasy, maybe even a little bit of that Persona feel, um, I think would very much enjoy this. I have been looking forward to games like She Dreams Elsewhere, which hasn't released yet, um, and I think this is also a great game that'll keep you tied over until that game releases too, because um, I know that, you know, there's this, like, gap, for me at least, in sort of these quirky RPGs that aren't like hundreds of hours long um and the cast is just the cast of characters they're so good <sighs> everything's fine sure it is sure it is um insert disc five armor games y'all doing a great job i can't wait for more uh and if you can't wait for more do Follow them on social media, wishlist the game so you can stay in touch and in the loop of when it is coming out. And uh, I'm definitely going to be playing this once it releases. This is going to be like a day one for me, I think. So yeah, that's it for this first impressions, uh, this just quick gut gameplay, gut reactions. I am super excited for this, and I think if you enjoyed watching this or if you like RPGs, you should be excited for this too. And I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. You find lots of games to play, and I'll see you next time in the cafe. Bye!